We got a box from YouTube a while back. I'm super excited to show y'all what's in there. I think there's a puzzle in here on top of that. We're going to make mass goblin huts. Mmm, it's an orange juice. This massive YouTube box. If you guys follow Clash with Ash on Instagram or Twitter, you probably already know what's in here. But if you don't, 1010 recommend following all of us on all of our socials. Super cool. YouTube Ateo. Okay, there's a jacket in here. Looks like it's locked up. It's a reversible jacket. Yo, Liz, thank you for sending this. So it looks like I have to solve a puzzle in this crossword. Or I could just, you know, just... Uh, slide. Nah, that's cheating. I'm not going to slide it out. You look down there. Here's the crossword. If you want to be the best blank creator, upload or live stream your content on YouTube. Every day, millions of people come to YouTube to watch your gaming content, making YouTube the biggest platform in the world. Every day. That's 10 characters long. Six, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's do one across, because I actually know what one across is. It's, it sounds pretty reasonable. Cree. A. I goofed up. It's not creator. This is permanent. It's not permanent. Well, now we're off to a bad start. Your content plus YouTube gaming equals the perfect combo. We're gonna we're gonna pretend that's combo. I'm gonna try that. I'm done using this permanent marker. Oh, 50 years from now, this this box is gonna be limited from this video of when OJ goofed up. Okay, we got C O. It wasn't combo either. The answers were here. It's it's match. The answer was match. One down. The answer had to be given to me. That was. I'm so sad. I'm sorry when I failed you. Yup, it opens up. Stupid crossword. The answer was in here the whole time. I should use this to lock my house. Wow. Oh, wow, this is heckin' warm. Why did I unbox this in the middle of spring coming on to summer? It's pretty hot right now. YouTube gaming in the back says OJ, and this is reversible. It's really fuzzy. I like it. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This jacket's real hot. Yeah, I, I can't do it. No. But before we get to that, we're interrupting this video for a very important sponsor. Today's sponsor is Supercell. <laughs> Basically, with the creator codes that they made, if you enter in code OJ, we get a small kickback from that. We get a small commission from Supercell for all the gems that you spend, for all the package deals. Even though I get commission for your, the purchases when you use code OJ, I try to be as transparent as possible. If you're really high level, you don't really need any of these cards unless you actually need the gold. Then these package deals aren't going to be too worth it for you. For my level 9 accounts, I do get these package deals so I can get it to level 10, so I can get everything to tournament standard really quickly. But other than that, if you don't actually need the gold, I don't recommend these deals. But if you do need the gold, make sure to use code OJ. Thank you for that. Let's get back into the video. We're going to spam huts in this challenge, and I don't think I really want Firecracker in there. I think I want the witch in there. She's she's gonna give me that oomph. She's gonna be, give, give me the skelly skellies. And then I don't even want baby dragon. I just want mass units. This is what I'm talking about. Seven times elixir with the goblin hut, with the barbarian hut, and the witches. They're walking spawners. You cannot do better than this. We have skeletons to cycle if we absolutely need to. This is going to be absolute chaos. We're going to do a witch in the very back. Cycle the skeletons because we didn't have it in rotation. I don't know how I feel about them skelly skellies though. I'm going to do a barbarian hut on the right side. And then maybe I'll do a witch to kind of do some spawners. Um, maybe do some more huts. I don't like how that's going. We're not doing too bad, but we're not doing too good. I think, I, I don't think we're going to, I don't think this, this is so hot right now. I don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh my heck. He already took out a tower. He already took out a tower. Why? What's happening? We're gonna win with this. There's no heckin' way. Okay. No, just restart, reset. Just take it all. 
He had Firecracker, he counters me. OJ never loses. Zero losses. We just need to refine our deck a bit more. I think I was a little ambitious with the uh, Night Witch there. We're going back to what works. Firecracker and Baby Dragon work so well. Baby Dragon's a splank. He's a tank and a splasher. Firecrackers just stay back there and they mind their own business. Oh, okay. Well then. Did I just miss that uh mini packer completely? Yes I did. Oh dear. He's already gotten through. This is brutal. Oh my heck. His poisons are getting through. We're gonna start stacking real hard. I wanted him to take out my princess tower. I wanted him to do that. Now I have space to put stuff in there. This is all calculated. You know what? I, I don't care about that hog rider coming in. I'm just gonna log stuff. I don't know what's, what I'm logging, but we're gonna log stuff. And I'm gonna do a goblin hut. I wanna balance out the barbarian huts with the goblin hut. So we're gonna start stacking stuff real good. I almost wanna do like a firecracker into the poison. Why not? Because I'm amazing. Absolutely. Goblin hut into the poison. Cycle my stuff. It looks like he, he can't handle the spam. There's too much spam. He's gonna get overwhelmed. You can't keep this up for a minute and a half, sir. We're doing it. Barb huts, goblin huts, goblin huts on both sides. I like it. No hiking way that hog rider is getting through anything. Nothing, nada. Nope, that's it. Let's let's put in a baby dragon somewhere in that mix. Lucky's got barbarian barrel, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We're doing baby dragons on the right side. We're doing firecrackers. We're gonna start pressuring. The right side real hard. Oh, that's 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 perfection right there. Did I just mirror my skeletons? Yes, I did. It's okay though. I'm gonna start poisoning that uh, tower over there. Cause I'm only slightly getting through. Maybe I'm gonna start mirroring my barbarian huts. Maybe I want to put the barbarian huts on his lane. To, just let you get poison value and this is how you do it overwhelm your opponents in all lanes I'm lagging it's okay barbarian huts left right top left down right that's how you beat them he thought he had me in the beginning but I'm gonna be real with you I never faltered I never lost confidence I wanted him to take my tower because once he took my tower I had space to plant down the huts in that space <laughs> Before we get into the second match, let's see what Seth leaked today. All right, so Seth tweeted out, the nice thing about monthly changes is that you can correct your mistakes pretty quickly. Magic Archer is getting his range back in May with a different nerf instead. His range made him unique, and it was wrong of them to change that instead of something else. He's back, baby! He goes on to say that we think that the gameplay was problematic. Getting a thousand chip damage from the river quickly is better addressed by reducing Tornado's duration, more so than nerfing Magic Archer harshly. He should feel legendary and have some unique gameplay, so his range is going back up to 7. Okay, I like that. So Boss says, why not 6.5? And then Drew says, we were originally going to nerf 6.5, but it felt like pretty much no change at all, and we wanted to stop the instant ship damage. Interesting. Let's get back into it. I'm feeling this deck. I almost want to put a furnace in there instead of a mirror. Should I put tombstone in there? Oh, heck. Why not? Poison and earthquake are going to wreck me so hard. This is not a deck I recommend. If you want to win in the 7x challenge, watch the spell cycle that I made. Watch the elixir golem battle healers deck that I made. Those are way, way better. This is just the cheese deck right now. Okay, I'm taking out skeletons for tombstone. I'm taking out mirror for furnace. This actually makes sense. 4.0 for 7 elixir challenge. Not bad. Okay, Barbarian Hut on the r left side. Furnace on that side. We're gonna start doubling up. Okay. Let's see if we can kind of get some things going on. I don't like where all of this is going. We gotta arrows, some firecrackers. They're kind of scary, not gonna lie. Got a lot of troops on the right side, so we're gonna start stacking the other side now. We need 
something like a Barbarian Hut to kind of tank for that Mega Knight on the other side. It's kind of scary, not gonna lie. I think we need to start stacking our Firecrackers, but I'm not too worried, to be honest. I'm gonna just start using the Log on his things. This feels a lot more balanced with Furnace and everything else. We're just gonna keep using the Log. And then maybe Poison up there. I'm trying to get Mass Huts up, and he's all poisoning all my grill. I don't like this. This is not fair. Freaking heck and heck. He's all up. He's all up with the poison. I don't like it. Oh my goodness. Those poisons. This is not good. This deck does not always succeed. Does my log even take out the... Yeah, okay. It takes out the firecrackers. We've got that going for us. Oh my goodness. I don't know about this tombstone business right now. This is a lot of stuff. I can't I can't keep up. He's defending everything really well. Nothing's getting through. I don't know how I feel about this. I should just give up. It's been seven times the whole time. He's poisoning the heck out of me. What am I doing wrong? Was it the, the furnace that I added? Was it the tombstone that I added? Why can't I fill my map with spawners? We just gotta do it once. That's all we need. Here. Still a little cheesed about this lock here. There's even indents on the lock that gave me the answer. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're not leaving until we fill up our chest slots. This deck will work. Zero, Zero losses. losses. First things first. Barbarian Hut and Goblin Hut are so, so good in this. Uh, I think we need to tombstone that. I think we need to log that Skarmy. I don't like it. I think he's getting through. I think he's actually getting through. I don't like it. Oh my heck. Oh my heck. Not good. More firecrackers. That's what we need. Firecrackers take care of the, our enemies. I think that's what I was missing last game. I was missing the firecrackers. They were they were doing some good splashes. Another thing! He doesn't have poison. We're overwhelming him! This is actually working! Yes! We did it! We're filling the map! Oh my gosh! This is going in the thumbnail! This was the game we we're waiting for! Just keep battling someone until they don't have poison. Or earthquake. Heckin' frick yeah! In the meantime, let's check out what's happening on Reddit. Concept idea by Titan Royale. Your teammate left the match, you now have full control of their deck. Yo, that's actually a pretty good idea. New card idea, Elixir Dragon. Oh, for Code OJ, upvote that! Give him Reddit gold! gold! He is a gentleman and a sir. Not only is he a brilliant scholar with the Elixir Golem, he is a humble man for Code OJ. All right, let's get one more going on. I was not expecting him to the Code OJ thing. Thank you for that, and thank you everyone for the support. It's super cool to see that that kind of stuff. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Um, let's do a barb hut. We need we need a We need like one of every hut on one lane first before we kind of diversify. Oh my gosh, he doesn't. He does not have. He does not have poison. You my my good sir. You are heckin' doomed. You are so heckin' doomed. We're doing a firecracker, we're doing everything on that side. Lightning is not gonna stop you at this point. There's not enough stuff for a lightning to, to do anything. We need to poison some things. Cause he's starting to stack up them splashy splashies and that's where the poison comes in. Not enough elixir though. I can't fill up the map that quickly. Maybe I need an elixir collector. Maybe. I don't know. That might be... That might be even worse, though. Because all these splashy splashes are wrecking the heck out of me right now. He's gaining traction again. Because I haven't taken care of the firecrackers or anything like that. Oh, my heck. We gotta poison the wizard. The firecrackers don't even die to my the logs. So I have to log it twice. You know what I need? I need to put down firecrackers early on. That's what it is. 
We got the tombstone, we got the furnace, we got the firecrackers that we're gonna put down this time. And freaking heckin' poison on those magic archers, they're wrecking me. Firecrackers, we're not it is this is this is not the victory we're looking for, but it is the victory that we will get. Just put everything down, put down the firecrackers, and we'll be good. He's got a lot of splashers, so he's doing very well taking care of this. If you watch my how to counter how to how to counter spawner deck from four years ago, it's basically just get a lot of splanks, a lot of tanks that can splash and tank. That'd be baby dragon, that'd be dark prince. He's he's lightning. He's using lightning on me, and it's working. I don't like it. Oh my heck. He's using lightning on my king tower! No! Do not king tower me like this! He's gonna king tower me out. He's not even going for my princess tower anymore. Or is he? But he just can't. Oh my heck. Okay, you can't lightning my king tower anymore. That's the thing. Okay, he's got zap. Ah! I thought I was gonna lightning rod with the spawners. We just need one more chest. Let's start spamming everything. Oh my. By, by the sound of his reaction, he doesn't have any poison. This is good. This is real good. This is real, real good. His his firecracker's level 12. Dies to my rocket. Dies to my rocket. That's all we needed. This is beautiful. He's got arrows. That ain't enough. We're stacking. We're heckin' stacking everything. This is good. This is so good. Stack the firecrackers. That's gonna be key. That's gonna be incremental. That's gonna be the point of victory. The, that golem is going to wreck a lot of my buildings that I connect to them. Spawners. More spawners. He's catching up. How is he catching up? I don't like it. It's dangerous. We gotta use the logs every opportunity we get. He's not connecting to my tower, but he is actually getting through. This is so dangerous right now. Oh my heckin' heck! Is the golem connected? He's actually getting through. Why are these spawner decks so hard to make happen? We have to poison everything on the left side. That's that's an absurd amount of things going on. I mean, I'm dealing more damage, but it doesn't quite feel like I'm really winning too hard. He's got arrows, so I have to kind of position my firecrackers out of row, out of everyone's place. We gotta use poison on there. There's too much going on. No heckin' way. There's way too much noise. Baby dragon on the right side connects. That's what we needed. Okay, it didn't really connect too hard. That wasn't what we had in mind. Get that. Witch, just leave me alone. That'd be, that'd be splendid. Oh my. I think we just need to start poisoning him. This is not the victory I'm looking for. I'm a little disappointed, not gonna lie. We're gonna poison him out on the left side. He's not getting through with his golem. But it's not that satisfying. I'm not overwhelming him. That firecracker was the bane of my existence. Those are the four chests that we got, and we did it. Spawner decks, 0-10, do not recommend. 10-10, I do recommend using code OJ. It does expire every seven days. We get a small kickback for all the gems you buy and from all the package deals. For these ones, if you actually need gold, this is actually not a bad deal. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Super chaos. I'm really happy with that one game that we pulled off. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality OJ.